now. But Riley was telling me that a drone fell on this building as well. Not, not the one at Comfort Town, but this gray and uh, uh, black and white building. That's why it's dangerous to live in the tall buildings because yeah. they, uh, they take all the hits. I have people who live on the fifth floor and they always go down when there's an air raid. Right? Yeah, but I think when you're on like the 14th floor or up, like it's, it's really scary. Especially because you can also see everything, all the Star Wars going on in the sky, right? Yeah, yeah. You can see everything. So we made it to Radim's apartment. You, you guys have been here before. Uh, we can drop off this car and we will get some food in his sports car, guys. So Vladim was telling me about how these garbage, he is responsible for these new garbage cans. Yeah. <laughs> and he did it through an app. Yeah. In uh, Kiev, mm -hmm. you have a special application where you can leave complaint with picture if you don't like anything. It can be related to anything, like parking, uh, asphalt quality, trash cans, lights, glass, whatever, yeah. whatever, mess somewhere. And how long did it take like, from when you uh, wrote this to the app and those showing up? Uh, less than 16 days. They put it in like four days. Wow. But they put only two. They said, we have like 20 of them, but they already assigned to specific Adjo, addresses. Okay. We have only two available. We'll put two now, but we'll put two. next to the, every entrance uh, later. Wow. They responded in four or five days. That's crazy. Even during war that they're like, they're doing this stuff. It's That's actually cool. getting better. It's getting yeah. better because they understand they are responsible. Like if you go to Europe, you have to act like a European country. Yeah. You cannot I, stay a Soviet country. You know what? Honestly, I, don't, I think in Europe, you could complain and it still won't be there. <laughs> But maybe like it was, they designed it better in the first place, but yeah. Well, you know, no one is perfect. All right. So Vladim has a beast of his own. And I heard this one might be louder too. is taking me to Santorini, the Greek house, guys. I've, I've, I've been here actually before, ironically. Never been to Greece yet. Well, today we're going to Greece right here. Yes. Greek house, guys. Yerdos. Under Grimna. Look at these pitas that just came out of this oven right here. Freshly... Just, ooh. It's cool. <laughs> All right. How's it look? Oh, that was good. All right. I've never seen the Greek fries like this before, but it looks yeah. good. As Greek as possible. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Alright, I think mine is up. Oh, beautiful. Do you have clear? I got myself a coffee. Actually, do you have the vanilla one? Well, guys, so Radim just asked me how compared to the ones I had in Greece. And I'll tell you, I had a lot of them in Greece. <laughs> Suvaki tea to. I got one of the Suvaki 
chickens on one of the ports. I think this is the pork. And guys, it is my mission this week to find the best Slovaki in all of Greece. At least all of Athens. Starting with this one. Let's start with the chicken, guys. It looks good. Pretty filled, pretty big. Warm uh, tortilla. Pita. Mmm. Really nice flavor to it. I can't tell you what it is. It's like a. Maybe it's mayonnaise. Maybe it's not as uh, special as I thought it was. But still, very, very tasty. I'll say I give this 8 out of 10. Maybe the pork is a bit better. It looks beautiful though. Alright, let's try the pork, guys. It's weird, the uh, Sabaki platters the, are always much more expensive. It's more expensive than two of these, but actually you get less stuff than two of these. You get like one tortilla, and it's just basically spread out on a plate. So I don't know why people order it. It's probably not a good thing, but I can't tell which one is pork and which one is chicken. I think this is pork. Alright guys, I think I figured out what the sauce is. <clears throat> it tastes like Big Mac sauce. Which is a bit strange because I never had a gyros with this kind of sauce, but it is good. A little bit sweeter than you would normally make it, but very friendly uh, owner, very tasty. Two euros eighty, super cheap, so recommended. But exact same price, one hundred grivna is two, exactly two euro fifty. Obviously, the ones in Greece are much better, but I'm just happy that they're at least trying to make something here that is like different than just the, the typical trauma you get every day. So big kudos and shout out to Greek House. You get A for effort. <laughs> Probably B minus for execution. <laughs> Who is this? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Sammy Lucci. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, Mace. Mace. Is that about me? Kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> so I got myself a nice ice cream. And a nice babusha picked out for me. And Vladim was nice enough to get Cynthia a takeaway yurtles. He brought a little Santorini to you. And these guys get nothing, sorry. Greek food, Greek food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we were talking about the story of my ice cream. I actually asked this like babushka in there, which one's the best? And she pointed, she was like, well, this one normally, but this one's on sale. So take this one. I said, okay, I'll take it. And she said, no, 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 don't take that one on top. Always get the one on the bottom. So she starts like digging through to the bottom to find like the best one. I think she moved. She like moved like six of them. She was like, and they're all the same when they're in a package. And she's like, no, no, not this one, not this one. And she like digs in like she like her whole body's like in the fridge. And she's like this one. I'm like, thank you. But I swear to God, this is the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. And this was twenty grivna, yeah, which is like fifty cents. And I think it has something to do with the grandma love. For sure. That's like, came from her. Even though I paid for it, <laughs> it, it was still her that, that handed it to me. I mean, you could ask her to pay for you, but mm. it would be, like, be even better. <laughs> like a week's salary for her. <laughs> Imagine. Mm. Food's always better when it's given. How, how's your girls? So romantic. Oh, I thought you were not recording. <laughs> yeah. How's your girls? <laughs> I said my gyros is great because it came from my husband. Not mm. from a grandma, mm. but that's why it's extra tasty. Even though you have a joint bank account? <laughs> yeah, even though. It still counts? <laughs> no, no, no one has to know that. Still <laughs> counts. Oh. It's in my mind. It's in my mind. As we say in Dutch, it's between your ears. Or you say that in English too. How do you say it in Dutch? Het zit tussen je oren. Huh? Het zit tussen je oren. Het zit tussen je oren. It sits between your ears. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ow. Yeah, it's big dash almost. Yeah. Working <laughs> in the corkin. Ah. Look at that tree. Oh. Your mommy is so thoughtful. She has a bag with treats, huh? 
I finished my ice cream, I can finally play with these guys. Hey, Sammy. Hey, you miss me, buddy? You miss me? She still remembers me. <laughs> like, I never left. Mace. Hey, 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 girl. I want to go back to my, my dad. Ah! <laughs> Headbutting me. I'm going to headbutt you back. You didn't feel it. So these guys are so excited about this ice cream that <laughs> they insisted we get some <laughs> from the bottom too. Let's go. Yeah, I specifically got it from the bottom. <laughs> If Chrisetti doesn't pay you, uh -huh. then I don't know. I get my one oh. gravy for them. <laughs> Let's see if Babusha was correct. There we go. really tasty. I love the chocolate. I think it has like a good ratio of chocolate with an ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you taste and just. Like cacao taste and super milky, super creamy, this white part. Yeah. Yeah. You, do you want to see the ratio? Oh, yeah. it's a perfect ratio. <laughs> so, Vladim, this is your first time having it, yeah? <laughs> no. But it makes me think of my childhood. So, you had it, so really you had it as a kid? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. It's my first time. <laughs> Shout out to Hushadik, which is also the street that Main Street really about. You gonna sit back here? It's just empty. Sure. You gonna be? Okay? Have you done it before? Uh, I I done. <laughs> I did it in this car. Turn on the light. Where? On top. Yeah, no. hmm? It's a bit warm here. Yeah. No, it's open. No, she will just sit here. You, I can sit there. No, you can join her. <laughs> no, that's even more weird. No, you know, I when I was younger, my dad had this like suitcase on the uh -huh. top of the car. Oh. And I always begged him if I could go in it when he was driving. So, you know, just like a childhood dream. Okay. <laughs> on the way back, I can sit. Let's go. <laughs> and in those cars, see, there is usually a window here. Yeah, but, but this one doesn't. This one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, we are driving with a uh, passenger in the trunk. Supposedly. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's like a dog there. <laughs> Cynthia, say wolf. She's good. <sighs> it's not far, right? No, no. Okay. I'm a bit worried. No, no that's, that's fine. I also been sitting there with, with my parents. Yeah. I actually do it in the back of the station wagon, but not in the back of the <laughs> transit. <laughs> How was the ride? Uh, some messages. That's good. It wasn't that far. It was only a few blocks, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not far. Uh, That's good? Yeah, just at some point you were braking and I was like, oh shit. Uh, I didn't see it coming. I was in my car. Don't text and drive. Or sit. <laughs> I really like these uh, market kind of things. Yeah. Such a mess, actually. You can get everything here. That's true, and cheap. Uh, yeah, cheap, easy, it's convenient, it's near your house, to the metro. It always looks like grandpa. Like, I like, I love it. It's, it's, it's nostalgia. Uh, I mean, it's nostalgia. Look, look at these tiles, right? I like it. It's, it's, it's nostalgia. Vibes, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like civilization, I like European style. No. Everything is maintained. It'll do it. <laughs> Where are we getting? No, no have it. Garage. Can you get a yes? Yeah. Oh. A garage on you? Three more. Two 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 more.
Thank you. I'll see you in a few weeks. Yeah. Bye, Liam. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. See you soon. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Well, guys, I'm going to take the metro home so Cynthia doesn't have to sit in the back again. And the station's right here, so it's perfect. So even though where I live in the center, there's a lot more convenient to go to restaurants and bars and cool things like that. Living out here is super convenient if you want to like buy cheap things like clothes, food, fruit, get a haircut, go to this like cell phone shop to get a new uh, case or something, want to buy a liter of beer. It's just like a very convenient place to live. Like if I lived out here, I would just go and buy like a fresh thing of fruit or vegetables from this, this lady every day. It's just so much easier than uh, having to go to a supermarket. It's fresher and nicer too. I just bought some of these strawberries from this uh, last lady for 85 grivna, which is like $2 or something for a huge box. And here's the metro, super easy. And Cynthia, thank you for showing me around your hood. Uh, I really enjoy that ice cream. If you guys are ever in Ukraine, please get yourself some of this. It's called Hershotic, uh, which is the main street here in Kyiv. Uh, ironically, it's actually not made in Kyiv. It's actually from Kharkiv, which is the second city where uh, I used to live. And <clears throat> we'll give you a couple updates. Uh, some really good news, some not as good news. Kharkiv has been getting bombed all the time and the reason why I'm not going back to visit my place is it's dangerous. There's not that much uh, air defense there. So this what just happened a week ago uh, in the center of Kharkiv, really close to where I live actually. Uh, and what's scary is you don't really hear about it very much. Uh, even in Kyiv, people don't really talk about it because everyone just knows what's happening but there's not that much they can do about it. But unfortunately, the residents, I mean, there's over a million residents in Kharkiv, they have to suffer through this, and there's not really not that much they can do. It's so close to the border regions of of Russia, which is another reason why they're, it's it's good that um, Belgorod region is becoming kind of a buffer zone, because it, the buffer zone used to be on the Ukrainian side. Now, hopefully, it's going to be on the Russian side until Russia decides to call off this invasion. Um, and very very luckily that this missile happened to hit the actual street but if it because just because russia's aim is so terrible but imagine this hitting just like a few feet to the left or right it would have destroyed any one of these buildings where people were sleeping um and this just happens all the time in in kharkiv and you never hear about it luckily we have really good air defense we have the patriot systems thank you so much to the u.s and to the NATO countries for donating those and that's why I feel pretty safe being here. As you can see, most of the time we're walking around just uh, kind of carefree and happy. But at night, there's like missile attacks all the time. That building that you saw kind of in the beginning of the video, that was on the left bank. Uh, I think it was repaired, uh, at least on this side. But on the back, a few months ago, that got hit hard. And just a kilometer previously, when we passed it, was the Comfort Town one where my friends lived. So there's that. Uh, as far as the animals from Kherson and the flooding from the destroyed dam that Russia blew up, uh, a lot of people have donated like uh, food and medicine and everything, and just in time, because the last time I checked it, there was 55 uh, animals there now, and I think there's gonna be probably closer to 100 by the time you, you've been watching this video in two or three days. So really, really grateful that there's enough supplies for at least for now. But if anyone wants to donate to the animal shelter to help them finish the construction of all the, the kennels, they would really appreciate that. And last update is thank you to all the people who have donated on GoFundMe. There's a couple families that you've met previously, like maybe even six months ago or a year ago, that I still continue to support here and there. Uh, there's a family that I you know, will send her, you know, 30 bucks, $40, $50 here and there if they need groceries or if they need a bus ticket to go visit their relatives. Uh, also, little Igor, the baby that was born prematurely, that, uh, and the last update I showed you, 
he is much healthier and stronger now, and he's actually at normal weight. His mother, Natasha, uh, asked if we could help them buy a blender slash food processor, uh, something kind of like this that we have here. And I was happy to do so. Uh, so we got them one. Uh, baby little Igor is now a very healthy weight. And unfortunately, his brother, his twin brother, didn't survive. They, they were from Bakhmut. So during her pregnancy, there was a lot of stress. And that caused uh, Igor to be born prematurely. His twin brother didn't survive. But luckily, uh, we were able to raise enough money and, and donate enough money to get them through the first couple months. So we paid their rent, uh, we helped with some of their hospital bills, and now helping with little things like, you know, a little food processor. I know for a lot of people, it doesn't seem like a big deal um, to buy, you know, a blender, but to be able to make food, healthy food, to feed someone who is malnourished really makes a big difference in people's lives, like Natasha. So thank you so much to people who have donated on GoFundMe. I just wanted to keep this update and then show you the photos that uh, they sent. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and slaughter Ukraine, guys.